people look back out on the driveway with the Jeep. We got the Jeep TJ here. Remember, we did the hood with the wrap. You can find that in another video if you're interested. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to add some grab handle. We looked at metal ones. Man, if you bump your head getting in and out on the metal one, look out. But uh, hey, we found a nice, easy alternative. Let's show you what we got. This is a you can do it. It's inexpensive. I bought these off of eBay. So uh, like and subscribe, post notifications on. You won't miss any of these neat little tips and videos. So let's check it out. All right, when we bought them for 13 bucks, we got four of these. Uh, so it's good for any Jeep. It's good for the four-door Jeep. Basically what you got here, you got a strap-on handle. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a strap-on handle. Let me show you how we're going to put that on. All right, so how do you put these on? It looks like it's got a nice little strap device here that you can uh, put on. You want to put it on in the direction so you know you can get at the straps. Uh, you got this on here. You can put this strap over the top here. Come back around and it goes through here. You go through the bottom or what's in close. I don't know if you can see that real well. I hope so. I'll show you another one later. Uh, and then through like this and you can tighten this up. So you just bring this up. There you go, tight. You bring the other one back here. Same routine. Bring it back tight. Through close to the strap, then through the outside. All right. The nice thing is you bump your head on this, it's soft. Unlike those big metal ones that hang right here, man. You bang your head on that, it's gonna leave a mark. Uh, so this is how this works right here. You can see how that works, all right? Uh, after you pull on it a little bit, you can come and you can tighten it up some more. Once you get it tight, you can tuck the straps in underneath here to make it look nice. I'm going to bring it around, tuck it in, bring it around, tuck it in. So there you go, easy to do. Uh, let me show you another one up close so you can see how to thread it so that it doesn't come loose. But there you go, that works well. Uh, be real good for your passenger. So here's how you thread this. You can see what you've got here. All right, this has to come around. You don't want any twists in it. Comes around and it goes through the inner part here. As you can see that, see the inner part? It comes through here, the inner part. All right, through the inner part. Then after you're through the inner part, you go back down through like this. All right, so you can see how that is. That way it pulls this way, but when you go to pull the other way, all right, when it's when it's around like this, see it won't it won't now it won't come out. See, I'm hold, pulling it; it won't come apart. All right, uh, and you pull this, and then when you pull this, it holds it tight uh, because this piece is pinching this against the teeth. You can see those teeth right there; those teeth. So that's how that works. Easy as can be, easy to take off too. All right, that was a fun one and easy, wasn't it? So like and subscribe, post notifications on, you'll see the next video like this. We're going to do some more things in this Jeep. Like I said, we're going to do those wires for the switch and uh, make it look factory. We're going to use stock locations. We're not cutting up our Jeep. When we did our hood wrap, remember the hood wrap, we peel that off anytime we want. So uh, once again, it wasn't a modification permanently to the Jeep. So like and subscribe, post notifications on. Thanks for watching today. You saw in one of my other videos where I put a rear bumper on and that bumper had LED lights. Here's a panel where switches would be factory. Here's an aftermarket style factory switch. Uh, like and subscribe to my videos. We're going to uh, do a video on how to take this apart and install three of these switches in there. And uh, we'll wire the lights. And then uh, the other two are going to be used for some other lights we're going to add later. So uh, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss anything.